Good morning, every ow, everyone, and welcome back to The Legend of Zelda: A Link Between Worlds. In the last part, we oh, you know what? I'm gonna just throw that on there, or not? I guess. Uh, we finished. Well, no, we didn't finish. We did about half of Skull Woods. We are on our way to get the boss key for Skull Woods right now. And he's keeping on us really well for some way. Um, it's kind of getting annoying. We walk so much slower with this eye. It's unfortunate. But it is a good weapon, I suppose. Now you're electric, I'm just throwing this eye at you, it'll be fine. So we're gonna do that, let the hand go crazy, and go get ourselves an eye. Since we can do it with the hookshot. Throw, but... But when that goes down, we are free to get the big key. Which means if we head back one, we can get into the big key room. And we got the Master Roar, so all that's really left in this dungeon is the boss. Uh, we wound up using zero fairies so far. And here's the boss. It is an upgraded version of that hand we've been fighting. Now, you did just get another Master Roar, so you don't necessarily need to... You know, I'll just, I'll just hide in this ball. He cannot pick you up and carry you to the front, though. He can, however, go a little evil. I was say, I'm trying to merge here, thank you very much. There are some hearts on the wall of the arena. Should you need them? And because he partially hit me there, he doesn't. He doesn't need to um, waste the time to recharge to get ahead. Fine. Do what you must. I have wall crawler abilities. If you have the upgraded sword, this fight goes a little easier, um, but there's no other way to speed it up. You just wait for him to use the move that'll actually let him take damage. So if he's never used that move, he's, he wins. He's never vulnerable, he can never lose. Alright, he probably has one more round, maybe two in him left. One, two, three. I clicked merge, come on again. Two, three, four. Yeah. 
Alright, he's flashing red now. Come on, game. He's alive with like maybe one or two hits total left. I always do this with the upgraded sword, so he, he's taken longer than I remember. I guess his thumb is hard enough to hurt me. But quick heal up from the fairies to help us, and well, we're ready again. I really want to do this as the one, the first one with absolutely no healing needed, but I mean the boss got me. Alright, so it was like a full cycle left. That's not the worst thing. If it was like one hit and he blew up, then I'd have an issue, but it took us five hits after. So we have finished the Skull Woods. And of course he drops his heart right in the middle of the map, which is, I, I think, potentially lockoutable. Oh, no, yeah, you can get it from either of those sides. We got the maximum heart container increase us to nine and giving us access to Ceres. Since this is here, technically, uh, I think I've seen them like glitch through the wall with uh, the hand pushing them through, and it gives them access to Ceres early, which means you don't actually have to beat this boss ever. Ah, I see, my little friend from the sanctuary, you've come to rescue me. Bless your goodness, how strong you must have gotten since then. But it seems you've further yet to go. You must save all seven of the seven sages. Save all of us, or peace will never return to Hyrule. Well, we do have one other thing we want to do while we're in the um, low rule area. And it's actually go to the blacksmith. Really fired up about this now, just thinking about how that weird jerk Yuga caused all this. Better hold on tight. We have managed to save three of the seven sages, so we're, we're making good distance, I think. Sheesh. Fine. Now, let's talk to this guy, I guess. I say work, but it's not like we're all that busy here. Oh! Am I miss, uh, thinking about this? Let us head to Vacant House and back over and we'll go to this area and go to our world's blacksmiths instead. I know one of them was supposed to forge it when we have the Master Ore uh, to make the sword stronger. Spoiler alert, that's what we're going to do at the end of this episode, we're making our sword stronger. So we can better handle the remaining dungeons. It's a shame we didn't do it right before this boss, but we needed the um, Master Ore to do it. And we got that in this dungeon. So, we retreat up and over. And welcome to uh, the Blacksmiths. Golly, where are you? He's just gotta be alright. Yes, yes he does. Strange, you haven't heard from the miner Rosso in a while. Get some good work, we had some of that nifty ore of his. Oh, Bink. The wife and I have searched for everywhere for Gully, but he's nowhere to be found. What if Monsters got... No, there's no way, not our boy. Tell me he's gonna be alright, Link. Give me a second here, Link. Hey, you have two pieces of Master Ore, don't you? How about I temper that sword? Sure, why not? Let's get started. Can't wait to see how this beauty's gonna turn out. One moment, please. And now we have the next sword. If I say so, I doubt I'll ever temper a blade so fine again in my life. Maybe this will help. We have increased the power of the Master Sword. We can really feel the difference. Think you could find Gully? We will try, we will try. Guess I should get back to work too. Ah, 
Oh, he's still saying... He's still talking about Rosso. And in Rosso's ore mine, I assume they're trying to hint that there might be another Master Ore piece there. Because there is two more in the game. I, we've gotten the two that came from dungeons. Um, so we want two more, uh, if we can find them in other places. Those I don't remember off the top of my head, so we will have to look later. But now that we have this Tempered Sword, is the Blacksmith in this world going to be different? What's he going to say about it? Because, honestly, it's no longer a random sword we picked up off the ground. Well, picked up out of the ground, I guess, technically. Um, but we are doing more damage. Hey, you there, kid. That sword, let me see it for a second. Alright, we'll go talk to this guy now that he's seen us with a sword. we we'll take a look at Real fine sword, excellent craftsmanship, just excellent. Whoever made this was very skilled. Not as skilled as I am, of course. I mean, I am the top blacksmith in the world, you know. But whoever did this just might be second best. Let's get my blood running. Follow me. Alright. He is excited. He is walking us back into his shop. And what's he going to say? If you find two chunks of master ore, I'll temper that sword for you. Won't just temper it. I'll make the sword of yours sing with the envy of the whole world. Just two chunks of the master ore and you'll see what I mean. You wouldn't know anything about his mood change, would you? So yeah, it's this. you can upgrade it once in each world, um, but we still need more Master Ore. You can see we have zero of it now. So that is something we will have to look for in the future. But that is going to be what we're calling it for today, with access to the Tempered Master Sword. And we have fired up the Blacksmith. We are going to, well... I guess I am undecided if we're going to go hunt for Master Ore or finish up another dungeon. Uh, I'm, I'm leaning towards another dungeon. Maybe we've got a nice red sword. Maybe we look for a new tunic as we go. See you guys then.